Uh, hello, Patricia. Um, our next presentation is titled Theory Meets Practice, Applied Undergraduate Opportunities in Germany. And I would like to introduce our next presenter. Her name is Dr. Patricia Nobel, and she is the executive director of the UAS7 Liaison Office in New York. Uh, it is a strategic alliance of seven leading German universities of applied, of applied sciences and represents a broad variety of about 600 degree programs at the undergraduate and graduate levels. The UAS 7 Liaison Office in New York administers student and faculty exchange programs for UAS 7 and North American students and promotes bachelor's and master's degrees as well as short-term summer programs to students in North America. Wow, that sounds very interesting uh, um, and we are excited to hear the presentation. Um, Patricia, the word is yours. Please go ahead. Hi. Yeah, thank you uh, so much. Uh, thanks everyone for uh, tuning in. Welcome to Theory Meets uh, Practice uh, today. My name is Patricia um, and yeah, I'll jump right in. As you uh, all probably know, uh, Germany has uh, largely free uh, but yet high quality education to offer and um, I I'll speak today uh, about applied applied undergraduate opportunities that you could take advantage of uh, in Germany. Specifically uh, today I brought you, not only, but uh, specifically I brought you information about uh, eight English-speaking bachelor's programs uh, that we offer at our um, universities across Germany. So we will hear about undergraduate opportunities in particular, uh, but I also brought some information about summer schools and uh, will say a few words about English speaking master's degrees also. So first of all, um, UAS 7, you see it in the background, uh, that's a, a group, a consortium of seven leading German universities of applied sciences. Uh, here on the map, uh, you will see uh, that we are um, very well represented geographically in Germany. Uh, we have the largest one, uh, the largest uh, universities of applied sciences, the one in Munich, one in Berlin, in Hamburg, Bremen, Osnabrück, Münster and Cologne. Um, and you can study a lot of things at our universities, of course, uh, tons in German, but also uh, there are more and more English speaking opportunities. Uh, you can study engineering and computer science, you can study business, management and economics, social and life sciences, architecture, art, design and uh, much more. So this consortium, the group UAS7, uh, uh, is, uh, formed a consortium and has one office in North America and that's where I come in. Uh, I sit in New York. If you have um, more questions, more specific questions, detailed questions about any of this, you can email me. Uh, the email address will be provided at the end. So, Universities of Applied Sciences. What, uh, what does that mean? So in Germany you have two major types of universities. One is uh, your very classic typical research universities. There are about a hundred of those uh, out there. They um, are around since the Middle Ages. And then you have universities of applied sciences with bachelors, offering bachelors and masters programs. They are a fairly new, recent uh, type of university. They have been um, established in the 1970s. Uh, in order to respond much more quickly to, to uh, labor market demands and uh, technological change. So um, universities of applied sciences provide a university education with very practical impulses, very applied uh, uh, oriented, um, in close collaboration with businesses and industry in the respective area. So if you don't enjoy sitting in a library all day long for many years, but uh, more hands-on approaches to learning, to studying and to getting your degree, uh, this is uh, for you. There is a strong focus on teaching, less of a focus on basic theory and research. Um, and uh, universities of applied sciences, uh, and it's similar to universities of a similar type here, are really career boosters. Um, that means uh, uh, as compared uh, to, to other types of universities, a larger, a much larger proportion of uh, graduates from our um, universities get hired much quicker 
after they got their degree. That's because of the close proximity to the practical experiences they had um, along the way. So some of the major strengths, I have touched upon them uh, to a certain degree. Um, so the uh, professors at uh, Universities of Applied Sciences, UAS, uh, have business and industry experience. Uh, that's a requirement uh, for us to hire them. So they, they have their networks. They, they uh, know people. Uh, um, they, they have been working uh, outside of academia, outside of university for a while. Often they run their own companies on the side. So uh, they, they know a lot uh, about the practical world. There is a lot of hands-on teaching in small groups. Um, that's just a feature. We tend to have small classrooms. Um, we, there's a lot of applied research. Uh, often you would work in, in tandem uh, with a company to work on a real world problem um, or with application oriented research institutes. There'll be a lot of study projects, practical projects, uh, also uh, in close alignment to industry. Uh, some degrees, uh, or most of them, really require you, will require you to do an internship and also help you find one mostly, um, and practical semesters. And uh, universities of applied sciences are regionally rooted and internationally connected. So, you know, um, the University of Applied Sciences that we have in Cologne, the TH Köln, um, there you would work if you study there uh, with, with industry and businesses in the respective area. But that doesn't mean that uh, Cologne industry and business is only operating there. They'll also be internationally connected. So, now, um, as I said, uh, uh, these are our eight um, the, uh, truly um, English uh, taught bachelor's programs, bachelor's degrees. So this is a degree where you wouldn't have to speak um, German necessarily. Uh, it's, it's not that clear cut. Uh, all the classes here are in English, so you could get away with just speaking English um, uh, in theory. In practice, we highly encourage you to have some German uh, uh, knowledge uh, because it will uh, give you a much, provide you with a much deeper um, cultural experience also. Uh, and uh, sometimes it's helpful for internships and, um, you know, but German language is not, you know, necessarily, if you don't speak that, a uh, exclusionary, exclusionary factor. So I brought eight uh, of these with you uh, at most of uh, uh, my universities. Uh, uh, there is one uh, being taught. For instance, here in Hamburg, you see engineering, uh, information engineering, a bachelor, English speaking bachelor degree. Then there is uh, in Bremen international degree program on ship management. That's because Bremen is also close to the harbor, close to the water. They also offer an international degree in program shipping and chartering. Then there is international management uh, in Osnabrück. And there are um, English speaking degrees, bachelor degree programs uh, on digital games code and context, library studies and digital communication located in Cologne, and we have a international, uh, an English-speaking program on international business management located in Berlin. I'll now um, go over a few slides which give you more details on each of them so that you get a general idea of what's, what's involved, what might be involved. So uh, this is, again, an overview, Bachelor um, bachelor of Science. Um, oh. So this uh, would be the Bachelor um, on Digital Games uh, at Cologne University of Applied Sciences. You will see here the subjects uh, that are included that you would study. Uh, it's about game design. And you will learn prototyping, storytelling, programming and technology. Um, video game and media studies is part of this uh, audiovisual design. So it's uh, well-rounded in that field. It's a full-time uh, program. Usually it starts uh, in the winter semester and uh, it takes uh, about seven semesters. Here um, are some information about the application periods. Uh, this is one of the early, uh, upcoming ones, uh, earliest upcoming ones. Uh, that would be an application period of March uh, of 2020 uh, if you uh, wanted to go for it uh, next year already. Um, 
Yeah, uh, so the requirements uh, besides uh, that uh, study program would be it includes a fifth semester internship, uh, it includes a semester abroad and uh, a self-initiated project that you would have to develop uh, in, in collaboration with your advisors and potentially companies already. So another um, degree uh, bachelor would be code and context also at Cologne University uh, of Applied Sciences. Here you see um, that uh, uh, it's like a six or seven semester uh, degree depending on uh, whether you will do an internship uh, on the site or not. Subjects here include coding software, design, prototyping, uh, entrepreneurial marketing and digital uh, transformation. Again, it's a full uh, term degree. It's six to seven semesters, depending on the internship question. And the application uh, deadline uh, is the end of May. So here is uh, also at Cologne a library studies bachelor, library studies and digital communication. Um, with design and library management, communication, strategic development, digitalization, uh, IT and media and cooperative skills. Um, it's basically everything that a modern uh, informed uh, digital librarian uh, might need. Here you see the practical element would be 20 weeks in practical experience phase uh, in the fifth semester. Here is uh, some of the general information again. Uh, Full-time program starts in the winter semester. You would apply it this summer. Then uh, in Hamburg, also far uh, uh, north, uh, a degree on information engineering with uh, subjects include mathematics, electrical engineering software, construction, computer science, computer engineering, signals and systems, economics and management, uh, intercultural and language uh, competencies. So there is a lot involved in this degree. Um, here, uh, this involves the studies involve a mandatory industrial placement of 20 weeks. Um, this will also take place in the fifth semester. Application uh, starts uh, April 1st for this. And at the Berlin, uh, in Berlin, at the School of uh, um, Economics and Law, also one of our univer seven universities of applied sciences, you could study international business management. Um, Berlin. Uh, School of Economics and Law offers a lot of uh, English-speaking uh, um, classes to begin with, but this is, uh, again, a fully English-speaking, English-taught um, bachelor program. It includes a practical semester, an optional semester abroad, um, where you could potentially uh, return uh, home for a semester, basically. And this one includes mandatory German classes, though. Um, which is something you could pick up along the way. So this is a full-time program, uh, begins uh, winter semester and in summer semester, depending on what you apply for. Uh, it's eight semesters, and I can provide you or put you in touch with uh, people uh, about further information about this. Then uh, international degree uh, program in ship management uh, uh, Bremen, at Bremen City University of Applied Sciences. Um, here the uh, practical semester involves six, six months of uh, sea service, which uh, I personally find very intriguing. Um, and uh, specifically uh, the colleagues in Bremen, it was important to them that I mentioned that no practical sea time is required prior to your application. So you could uh, show up um, without having ever uh, set foot on water and study um, ship management. Another degree in Bremen uh, is International Degree Program Shipping and Chartering. Uh, this one includes uh, the subjects here are business communications, maritime economics, uh, maritime management, mathematics, accounting, business law, and soft skills. The practical element here is uh, a semester abroad in the fifth semester. And I believe, yeah, this is uh, Osnabrück University of the Applied Sciences. Um, that's a uh, opportunity in international management. 
uh, you see a little more information here on the slide. Subjects include business management, logistics, micro and macroeconomics, marketing, financial accounting, statistics, human resources, European tax law, uh, communications and foreign languages. So uh, everything uh, you think should be included in international uh, management bachelor. Uh, you can uh, choose uh, from among uh, eight specialization tracks. Uh, it includes a study abroad semester. Uh, and here uh, in this uh, instance, there will be a six weeks internship required before the application. And uh, it's, you know, you could get in touch with me or with Osnabrück University of Applied Sciences if you have more specific questions about what qualifies, what's tried. That's, um, that's basically uh, the purpose of uh, this liaison office that uh, I'm sitting here in New York that you can just pick up the phone and ask me specific questions uh, about any of these degrees and programs. So uh, this was the overview of the eight English speaking bachelor programs that we um, have. Uh, we have some other opportunities uh, at the Universities of Applied Sciences uh, in Germany uh, as well. There is a broad range of summer programs uh, should you uh, be enrolled already at the university um, here in the United States or have friends. So there are ways to get to Germany for a short time program and in international business management, marketing, sustainability, entrepreneurship. Um, these uh, summer schools and winter schools, they could be anywhere uh, across the seven universities of applied sciences that um, you have seen on the map. And they are typically uh, during the summer time, so we can chat more about that too. And uh, looking further down the road uh, uh, for you, um, there are also uh, across these seven universities of applied sciences, there are 67 English taught master's programs. So purely English taught master's programs as well. Um, so if you are interested in that, um, which since it's, this is not the subject of this um, talk, you um, should get in touch with me uh, or my colleague Inga uh, at the liaison office in New York, uh, where we can tell you um, more about um, or more details about any of these opportunities. So please let us know. And um, now I would uh, take some questions. Thank you very much, Patric um, Patricia, um, for this presentation. Um, we got to know uh, a lot about this program, and I think that is very helpful um, to many to many students and also teachers to highlight this to to their students. Um, so uh, for anyone um, who is uh, listening to this, uh, you can uh, type your question into the chat. Um, but I would also have um, one or two questions. Um, one of them is: um, Do all presented programs, like all the programs you've presented today, um, do they have free admission? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, that's that's part of um, uh, that's part of the German education system that uh, um, these programs are free. It's free tuition. It's possible uh, uh, that uh, there are small. Um, fees to be paid, uh, which are usually, typically around, from what I can tell, I mean, it's mm -hmm. different at each of the universities, uh, first of all, uh, but I think it's between 100 and 300 euros mm -hmm. a semester, and in many cases it already includes uh, the public transportation yeah. ticket, uh, so it's it's more of a small fee, um, administrative fee, um, and it's not, it's not a tuition mm -hmm. um, per se. Um, in some cases, I believe it includes health insurance, yeah. uh, but that depends, yeah. it varies, and it's typically uh, not more than 300. Um, okay, then we have um, two questions in the chat window. Um, the um, webs class, thank you for your questions. Uh, do German citizens enroll in English language programs or, all, or are all the students from abroad? So. Um, the students and the program. Do German citizens enroll in English language programs? Uh, no, it's these are universities that are um, German universities uh, uh, for German um, 
for German students, for German citizens, but also uh, we uh, they have a strong mission to internationalize and we welcome uh, people from all over the world uh, with open arms if they want to study with us, if they fulfill uh, uh, certain requirements. Um, so we even made uh, uh, English speaking classes and now a few degree programs available in English. Um, but you would study uh, Maybe not as much in the purely English speaking bachelor programs or degree programs, but you would study uh, side by side with, with, with Germans uh, as they study at uh, um, their mm -hmm. um, you know, universities. So you would be um, entering German okay. class. Um, I'm not sure whether that's the thrust of the question. Please uh, clarify if I, uh, if I did not understand the question correctly. Does this um, answer your um, question? And uh, maybe we can go. Yes, it's right. Yeah. Classroom, okay. Right? Very yeah. good. Thank you very much. And there. Yeah. yeah, it's not just set up for 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 other people. It's like you know, you would study. Yeah. Along, study um, we had another question from Bajil. Um, I'm not sure if I understand it correctly. What qualifications do I need to legally be an intern in Germany? I think that's a question about yeah. uh, um, uh, visa um, rights and visa procedures. I can, unfortunately, I'm not the right person to ask. Uh, Bajil, you could uh, email me and I'll try to find out and send you the um, answer specifically. Um, I can tell you that we offer internships uh, uh, and internship programs through our universities, but this is uh, part of the university research labs, so it's lab internships. So there, um, you could, uh, you wouldn't need, a, a, it's a very simple visa process in order to get enrolled there. But in order to do this, to do such an internship, you would mm -hmm. have to be enrolled here. So I'm, I'm yeah. not a specialist yeah. in German visas, per se. Yeah, but uh, I'm happy to, if, if, if that, uh, I'm happy to answer um, your question via email. By video because that I is very helpful. Out. Thank you very much. Um, I have another um, question. Uh, what are the requirements? To my, my email address oh, here. Uh, okay, sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, that is helpful. Yeah, when you right put your address right. there. So yeah, um, what are the requirements to study in Germany? You highlighted a little bit, but yeah, uh, that's a. Yeah, that's that's a that's a very good question, um, and I know I skipped over this slide because it would have taken too long. In this, in short, the answer is. It depends on what you want to study, and it also depends on what mm -hmm. you already have studied. Um, so, first of all, if you want to study at a German higher, uh, at a German university, you'll need you have to meet certain requirements, and that's uh, then that's where it gets tricky. For instance, you should have completed 16 academic units from years 9 to 12 in high school. But what type of academic units those are? That depends on what you what study program you are applying for. So it would be decided uh, from by the application office uh, in Germany mm -hmm. to a certain extent. You know, um, some universities uh, require um, a test that's called Test AS, um, a test for academic studies, which is a general proficiency exam for um, U.S. students uh, that can be taken uh, here mm -hmm. in the United States. Um, and there are further alternatives, but there is no blanket, um, okay. there is no blanket answer to this because it really depends on what mm -hmm. you're applying for and where you're coming from. And that's also why um, we have, I think, most of the presenters today uh, representing German universities. Yeah. That's why we have the offices here. You can email us uh, with the specific questions. Uh, yeah, I think that that is very helpful that um, everyone feels encouraged um, to find a way and like you and also the other presenters like everyone is um, is supporting in a way so if you feel hmm, I don't know if I apply for uh, if I fulfill all the requirements don't give up <laughs> write an email with your personal individual uh, not with your personal but with your individual story uh, and what you um, already have and where you want to go and I'm sure um, there will be a way um, how to 
yeah. yeah, we would take it from there. You know, I, we can find out here. We can send it to the um, uh, respective offices uh, at our universities in Germany and ask them to, to yeah. look at the specific situation and they'll know exactly yeah. um, what's yeah. needed. And, and I'm sure even if it's not possible immediately, they will give you a hint like, okay, if you want to um, board on this um, study program, you would need to fulfill this and that or you would need to make another course or uh, I'm sure they will show you somehow a direction where to go in order to um, follow this path. Uh, we have another um, question yeah. from Web's class. Um, do the, the UAS7 universities have finding housing for students from abroad? This is a very popular and common question from uh, students from the US. How does that work? It's a, it's a very good question, yeah. It's a very good question. So, uh, yeah, you know, Germany um, is a, a little more hands-off, uh, but especially for our students from abroad, I know from all the international student offices uh, uh, from UA7 that I work with, um, they they have specific, you know, uh, deadlines uh, just to so that they can make sure that uh, the housing that uh, is there, student housing uh, units that are there that, uh, you know, can be rented, that there are certain contingents of student housing that are being kept for mm -hmm. international guests, you know, for people who really come from a different continent, from a different country, um, that, that uh, are in a little more administrative support and need. So um, while we... Uh, don't have, uh, won't be able to, you know, pick you up from the airport and mm -hmm. put you in an apartment. Uh, we will be uh, able to, um, you know, uh, to help you with first of all uh, all kinds of information regarding how to find housing, and second, uh, there are contingents often uh, contingencies. What's the word? Yeah. Um, so it, it depends on the university and uh, uh, on, on uh, nearly all of our campuses there are st student housing attached to it and um, we keep, uh, we hold a certain number of those yeah. for international guests. Okay, um, thank you very much um, Patricia, that was very helpful um, and we are coming um, to an end of this um, presentation. Thanks a lot and uh, have a great day. This was the last presentation uh, in the green room, but it's not the last for today yet. Um, this, this presentation concludes our program in the green room, but however, um, in the blue room, uh, we uh, hope you stay with us for the final stretch, the concluding remarks in the blue room. Um, and I can totally highlight this um, to WEBS class and to all school classes who are attending right now, because in the blue room, in the last 20 minutes, um, there will be a raffle and a prize. So for participating school classes only, um, there will be the opportunity to win a screening of a German movie um, at your school um, and free pizza for the entire class. So um, uh, stay here with us uh, on the um, career day still and go to the blue room. You find the link in the box in the right corner below. Just click on it um, or my colleague just copied it into the chat window. Just click on it and there will be um, the final stretch of this career day today. Uh, it was great uh, hosting this green room here. Uh, many interesting presentations, many um, questions and yeah, please enjoy um, the rest of your weekend and auf Wiedersehen from New York and also from San Francisco where my colleague is sitting. Bye. Bye.